With Chinese stocks up big over the course of the last month, it's no surprise that NEO is up almost 35%. So in today's video, we will take a look at NEO's deliveries in 2024, as well as revenue and EPS numbers for the company. So if you enjoy the video, drop a like down below, and if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. Before we jump into NEO, let's take a look at the portfolio. We are currently sitting at a total value of just over $53,000, and if you've been paying attention attention to the channel for a while, you know that I like investing into turnaround plays. My biggest two positions right now in terms of waiting to kind of see if the stock turns around is probably Alibaba and PayPal. These have been two stocks that have been hurt in a massive way over the last few years, and we're starting to see life brought back into these companies. Alibaba is now up around 48% from where I bought it, while PayPal is up 32% from where I bought it. And obviously, Neo is a Chinese company. They're going to experience some similar things to what Alibaba is seeing with their stock price rising after the stimulus that China has announced. It's also worth noting that I do have two dividend ETFs, SCHD and VYM in this portfolio. I added these about a year and a half ago into the portfolio because a lot of the dividend stocks were hurting and overall it's worked out pretty well. I'm up 15% on SCHD and 20% on VYM. Eventually if the market starts to tank a little bit, I'd probably look to get out of one of these and potentially reinvest that capital into some more of these turnaround plays. But on top of that, I also have around $13,000 in cash. And ultimately, the purpose of such a large cash position is to find investments in the market. And that's why I like doing these videos on some of these one-off weird companies that could potentially see a run-up in their stock price, like what we're seeing with NEO. NEO in the last month is up around 35%. Year to date, it's however down a around 20% still, and over the course of the last five years, it's seen a run-up of 300%. However, it's down from its all-time highs of around $62 per share, and it's down almost 90% from these highs. So clearly, based off that drop that we've seen from NEO, it would classify as a turnaround play. But not every turnaround play is worth jumping into, and that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. Let's start by taking a look at NEO's delivery numbers. They delivered 20000 176 vehicles in the month of August for 2024. That consisted of 11,923 SUVs and 8,253 sedans. That puts their total delivery numbers for 2024 at 128,100 vehicles, which is a 35, almost 36% increase year over year. And in September, they saw a slight increase in their deliveries, delivering 21,181 vehicles. That is an increase of about 35.4% year over year. They also announced that they started deliveries on their ONVO L60 SUV starting in late September. And this L60 SUV is the first vehicle in their new product line of ONVO vehicles that are focused on providing more affordable vehicles. And this could be crucial for NEO moving forward, especially as we start to see the Chinese economy turn around. I believe that Chinese people will be looking for more affordable electric vehicles. And this is even very well represented in the data as 50% of new vehicle sales are electric vehicles in China. This is compared to the US market where only 8% of new vehicle sales are EVs. So I don't think that this momentum is going to slow down anytime soon as we see more stimulus provided to the Chinese economy and impacting the consumers throughout the country. I believe that they're going to be looking at these cost savings measures by choosing lower upgrade options like the L60 or even the future models that NEO rolls out in this product line. And this should help NEO's deliveries over time, increasing by higher percentages year over year. And ultimately, what matters to investors are the numbers. This should have a big impact on NEO's revenue as well as their EPS numbers. Revenue over the course of the last five years has gone from around $1.1 billion all the way up to $8.8 billion for the trailing 12 months from their most recent quarter. And year over year, their most recent quarter has shown revenue is up almost 100% to $2.4 billion. And on Yahoo Finance, there are 19 analysts covering the stock in 2024 and 18 in 2025, and they have an average revenue estimate for 2024 of $10.42 billion, up 33.5% year over year. For 2025, they're expecting revenue 
revenue to come in at $15.02 billion, which is up 44.1% year over year. The biggest question for me around these numbers is what is China going to do with their economy? Are they going to lower interest rates even further? Will they offer stimulus checks? Obviously, all of this matters a lot to NEO because if we see interest rates within the country come down, that means people can take out loans and have lower payments for their vehicles, thus encouraging more people to buy vehicles like what NEO offers. And obviously, that would have a big impact on their revenue numbers. But more importantly to investors, they want to see NEO get to a profitable state. Over the last few years, their trailing EPS has traveled anywhere from a dollar and 79 cents of losses down to at one point 75 cents of losses. It seems like currently they're sitting around this dollar 50 of losses on a trailing 12 month basis. And we want to start seeing that get closer and closer to profitability. And overall, the Chinese economy turning around should have a big impact on the profitability at NEO. Obviously, if more people are out there buying cars, this will help NEO get closer to profitability, but also debt being cheaper to acquire should help impact NEO's numbers. Right now on Yahoo Finance, there is an average EPS estimate for 2024 of $1.18, with the low estimate sitting at negative $1.71 and the high EPS estimate sitting at negative 39 cents. Year over year, these would be overall good numbers from a loss of negative $1.53 in 2023. So clearly right now, there is no expectation from analysts that NEO will reach a profitable state in 2024. However, in 2025, the high EPS estimate is actually a positive 10 cents of EPS, with the average EPS estimate sitting at negative 86 cents of EPS. In my opinion, for NEO to hit this high EPS estimate of positive 10 cents of EPS in 2025, there would have to be a lot of things that would need to go right, not only at the company, them delivering more vehicles, a lot more purchases going on, providing more affordable vehicles like we're seeing with the L60 and what they're preparing to potentially roll out in later 2024 as well. But also we'd have to probably see the Chinese economy really start to turn around and potentially more stimulus brought to the broader economy. For me personally, NEO is not a buy. I like my current exposure to China with Alibaba and I'm not really looking to add to that exposure. I think that NEO right now being an unprofitable company, really still trying to prove themselves. For me, it doesn't feel like a good fit into my portfolio. However, if you're looking for a little bit of risk into China, I still don't actually think that NEO is the best option. In my opinion, if you're actually looking for a company to invest in specifically around electric vehicles in China, it might just be this company represented here. It is BYD. Year to date, BYD is up almost 45%, and in the last five years, this stock has ran up almost 700%. Let me know if you want me to do a full video on BYD. But honestly, my opinion is if you're investing in China, you should look for companies that you can take certain risks off the table with. For NEO, you have the risk of bankruptcy because it is an unprofitable company at this point. However, with BYD, Alibaba, as well as a number of Chinese companies, you could take that risk off the table and find companies that are profitable, that are experiencing solid revenue growth, and that are the number one or number two players in their industry. But I'm interested in your thoughts around NEO. Are you buying the company? Do you own NEO? What are your thoughts around China and where the economy could be headed in the future? And what effects could that have across the broader market? So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe. As always, do not buy a company just because I talked about it here on YouTube. Make sure you are doing your own research and looking into companies that meet your risk tolerance as well as your time horizon. And in the spirit of Halloween, we have a joke about ghosts. Why did the ghost go to the mall? Check the comments down below for the answer. Thanks for watching.